Yo, yo, yo. Where are we today? Colchester Half Marathon. Sweet. So we're at Collie Half Marathon. We're currently at the Colchester United Football Ground, so where the start point is. Been a bit of a hectic morning today. So I've been in Newcastle this morning. I've driven through the night. Well, I've not driven through the night. The lads have driven me through the night to get me back. So shout out Connor, Bells and Ross uh, for getting the lads back in time. And shout out, who's it? Geary. Geary and? Ash. And Ash, right, for getting my number. Perfect. It's been absolutely hectic this morning, but we're here. We've made it on time. What time is it? And my watch is dead as well. <laughs> it's about 25 to 9. 25 to 9. Starts at 9. I've not had anything to eat this morning, so I'm going to have to... Well, I've got I've got Parma Violets as a snack. <laughs> um, pretty underprepared, but we're not going all out today. Okay, so we're doing eight minute miles. There's a flu going about, so no, I think Ads has had a cold. My my knees are hurting. I've got runner's knee. So we're going to take it. We're going to try and get eight minute miles today because that's what time we're doing the Southampton half marathon. In. Uh, heading to the start now. Show you a bit of the vibe and. Um, We'll see you there. Right, so on our way to start, and what have you just got? Bacon roll. Bacon roll, 25 minutes before the beginning of the race. So hopefully, you can digest that in time. Oh, I'm starving. He's, well. he's going to get stitch, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Mark my word, stitch incoming. 10 over to the start, bit of a vibe going. Everyone's uh, very cheerful despite the rain, but no, it's looking good. So, bacon roll finished, uh, currently at the Cosh United grounds, open, so good view of the grounds, actually quite nice surface. Yeah, just waiting ads, just gone to the toilet, and we're going to head to the start line, roughly around about 15 minutes to go, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's still still really good vibe here today, quite a lot of people. minutes to go people are still registering which is uh, a, bit <laughs> a bit concerning but I'm glad it's not us yeah we told to warm up now people are starting to get to the um, to the start line 10 minutes to go how are you feeling about today feeling okay um, but my nose is a bit blocked but feeling, feeling okay body wise it's cold <laughs> it is a cold start today so we, we need warming up so hopefully they do another warm up like they did at the Chelmsford one so so we're at the 140, 140 barrier, right? So the way this splits down is you've got elite runners and then it's time zones, each one. So taking it easy today, we're at the 140. And yeah, that's about it really. But I, yeah, I like those time zones, so you're not possibly hitting people. Like the slow people won't be at the front, like people should be in their zones. Yeah, exactly that. Uh, but yeah, you can have a look. There's a start down there. And how long we got left? How many minutes? Nine minutes. Nine minutes to go. In the pink shirt there. Oh yeah. The one that says 140 on the back. Oh yeah. Mass confusion here. So, we've got the start line there, right? But we're on the other side of the barrier. And we've got about five minutes to go, so... Not, yeah, not a, not a clue how we, where we, where we do a loop round, whether there's a section that goes through, but it says start, I'm, I'm guessing you go through the start. So the chip will have to be sat on me. Yeah, yeah, so it'll be, inter yeah, be interesting to see how this actually starts off. Yeah, it's baffled. Right, we're funneling in. We're funneling in. Bit of a bottleneck, but we're getting there. So we've got to get round, get to the 140 barrier. All the elite runners are at the front, look. Yeah, we should be there, shouldn't we? We should be there. We are elite. We are elite, but taking it easy today. We're humble. <laughs> A gel, and we have not even set off yet. Oh, it's good. It gets 
So we've just set off. We've got the uh, one hour forty marker here in um, in our sight. So we're gonna find out a little spot in the pack, and then we'll see you at mile one. Mile one down. It's been all downhill so far. Good pace. Had a few people come up to us, recognising us for the channel. So absolutely gassed about that. One hour 40 breaks, keeping everyone in pace. Nice bright pink shirt. One mile down. Could do this all day. <laughs> right, see you at mile two. We're in the pack now. One hour 40 pack. Nice and chilled out. Saw a bit of a downhill all the way. Just heard there's a big hill on the high street. That. Right, it's quite, quite steep, so yeah, about a mile and a half in. Still going all right. That is mile two. We have strayed a bit and gone up another 140 mark here, but feeling good at the minute. Although, there was a massive hill coming and it looks horrendous. It is massive. <laughs> oh. The whole, whole street of Colchester. We'll show, show you when we get a bit closer, but it is big. Not looking forward to that. But what goes up must, must come, come down. down. Oh, see you at the hill. And here she is, start of the Collie Hill. Oh my days. Okay. Legs burning, absolutely burning. About three quarters of the way up. Calves hurting, but we can see the top almost. There we go. Hill done. Down on the R Street. Long. Long it all the way down. Hopefully it's all flat from now. Two and a half miles, see you at three. I'm gonna say what goes up must come down. Massive down there. Gleaming for the legs. Still feeling good. 10 miles to go. Say it like that, it's horrible, but yeah, we're all right, we're going. Turns out we both completely forgot about this next hill. So there's a pub called the Rover's Tie. It's a long, gradual hill all the way up. And it starts all the way back here before the roundabout. Whew. But my legs are going well, it's just still there, almost, almost to the next mile. <laughs> nice to see the community getting involved as well, absolutely lovely. But we're almost at mile four, so we'll catch you then. There we go, four miles. And still going uphill. Whew, bit of a slog this one, but very humid. Yeah, we're both boiling, uh, but we're doing well. Almost near the top of the hill. But yeah, I think we're all right. Let's see you the next mile. Five miles down. Whew. Just levelling out at the top of that hill. Oh, that was a long one. Longer than you think. We're still good. It's currently at the uh, car garages now. So if you can call it, you know where that is. But yeah, we're feeling good. Still very, very hot. Very humid today. It's obviously still raining, but my God, it's warm. Mile six, not too far away. Right, that was six miles, 
and a very much needed water stop so uh, we took the water dumped it on our heads because we are boiling turned off on another one of the streets now but looks like another bloody hill very hilly course this but we'll keep you updated Seven miles in over halfway. My feet are wet now. Not. Yeah, not like a wet course. Just because we've got these these shoes and it flicks up the water into your shoes. But apart from that, over halfway, still going alright. More hills than we thought it was. Way more hills. Like even now we're a little bit of an incline. But we're still moving. Still getting it done. Still very humid. Bit of a breeze which is helping, but there needs to be more of that. Right, mile eight. Let's go. Happy days. So, who are, you? who are we running with here? Andy from Colchester. So, Andy from Colchester recognised me from the uh, Mersey Park run and uh, got him going down there. How are you feeling today, mate? Good. Good. We've got just over five miles to go. We're going to finish it strong. Happy days. What time are you expecting? Like on sub 140. Easy. We'll see how we get on. I think we're well ahead of the 140 at the minute, aren't we? Ooh. Sweet mate. Keep Go going. On the, all the way. How are you finding the course at the minute? It's nice. I thought it was quite hilly at the minute. Yeah. Yeah. There's only one more hill to go. Oh, sweet. Happy days. One more hill. You heard it here. If there's any more hills, blame him. It's on me. <laughs> Two of them. Yeah. There we go. Eight miles. Uh, on a bit of a country day at the minute. Pretty flat though, but we're told. There's one more big hill, so not looking forward to that one. Uh, bit of fatigue now, the legs are a bit sore, but we're cracking on my bit. Still very warm, but we've got our water, so we're okay. But see it more now. Sixteenth lady, decent that. Right, just a mile nine. Last three, four miles. Three, four miles ish. Going good now. Still going good. Long. These are long trail roads now. Going down a little bit. So happy day. How are we feeling, lads? Uh, a bit tired. So struggling on the hills yet from the cold. But, <laughs> yeah, that's a little push now. That's four miles. Get me back in. Put our chocolate and a cross on. <laughs> mile ten. Three miles to go. What is that? A park run. <laughs> One park run to go. Roughly about 21 minutes of work left. Still very, uh, still very humid. Wind's picked up a little bit now, actually, which is helping. Still very wet, but on the uh, on the way back in. So mile 11 will be soon. We're on one of them roads where you can see for absolutely miles down. So. Mentally gets in your head, but how, how far have we got now? Oh, Almost 11 miles, so literally two and a half miles to go. Easy. Mile 11. Whew. Still on this long straight road, which you still see miles ahead, but only two miles to go, so the end is near. A bit windy now, but we're doing well. Enjoy that. See you at mile 12. How good is that? How 
how good is that with like almost a mile to go absolutely class top community that is mile 12 oh last mile oh god rain's coming down now but that's helping a little bit again we won't film the finish line because we want to get the photos you know me last mile to push crowds are building up now absolutely class everyone's building up to that finish line it's great great atmosphere so we'll see you when we cross the finish line <laughs> this is the longest road in the world <sighs> no turns nothing but pure road rain's really picking up now less than a mile to go but still have a clue where we are it's really tiring this road we're getting there We can see the football ground in sight. Oh, we're almost there. Just the last few hundred meters to go. Then we're in. Oh, oh, oh. Colchester half marathon done. And look where we sat. Colchester United ground. Oh, what a way to what a way to finish. How did you find that course today? Very challenging. Um, I mean, it was a lot more hilly than we anticipated. Yeah. Um, definitely a lot harder than Chelmsford, I'd say. Yeah. What time did we get? Uh, 1.37. 1.37, which is good because, one, it was hilly for a start, and we were keeping it keeping it steady today as well, because uh, we obviously we're still doing the Southampton one, which is coming up, well, Southampton Marathon, which is coming up. but. I'm happy with that, and actually the medal actually has Colchester Half Marathon on it. So Chelmsford, sort your medals out. I think, personally, I think the hot chocolate and croissants are limited and very expensive here. I paid £4 for that bacon buddy, but it got me through this half marathon. So, you know what I mean, you can't, can't fault it. It's a very, very well run uh, course. Crowds, very, very clappy, very cheery, very motivating throughout, which is good. It was very hot at the start, weren't it? No, very humid. Very humid at the start. Well, it was nice, like, when the rain was coming down. It was actually quite refreshing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, well done to everyone that's completed it. So remember to subscribe if you haven't already, because we're going to be doing loads more park runs and half marathons and marathons coming up. Be kind. Be happy. Run well. Right, see you soon. <laughs>